first thing that you need to do on your mower is the surface. surface. What, you need to, what you need to do is sand the entire surface. And what you're doing is starting at about 100 grit. You're going to work your way up to 120, then 150 grit, and finally at 180 grit sandpaper, whether you're doing an oak chair or a cherry chair. Um, you can do this process either with a random orbit sander, an electric sander, just allowing the sander to move about one inch per second. And you're only going to let the weight of the sander do the work. Don't push down on it. That defeats the purpose of the, the action of the sanding pad. Um, you don't need an electric sander to do this. You can do it completely with sanding blocks or with hand sanding. Just work with the grain. Here you do want to actually apply pressure. And you always want to go with the grain of the wood along its length. Again, work your way up through the grits from 100 to 120, 150, and finally stop at 180. In between grits, you want to clean off the surface. If you have an air compressor and you can blow off the surface with compressed air, that works. Otherwise, a vacuum cleaner works really good. When you sand, you're going to get some of the grit from the sandpaper that gets lodged in here. And you want to make sure that you remove that by blowing it off or vacuuming it off before you change to a finer grit. Um, otherwise, you'll end up with bigger scratch patterns in there. There are areas to avoid. You'll want to avoid areas where there's joinery. For example, the shoulder of this tenon. You'll want to avoid that because what you're trying to do is get a nice crisp joint line between the tenon piece and the mortise piece. If you sand this edge or ease it, you'll end up with a shadow. It'll look like a gap when the joint goes together and it will actually look something like that. It'll just look like it's not a tight joint. That's what you want to avoid. So don't sand that particular face or ease that edge. Any other edge though, any edge that you can touch, you'll want to sand and ease. Ultimately, any edge that you're able to touch shouldn't be sharp to the point where it hurts you or it bites you. It should be pleasant to touch. You should want to touch the piece. So make sure you ease those edges. Here's another area to avoid. The mortise. We don't want to change the plane of this surface right here. We want to make sure that remains flat. If we dish that out while sanding it, we'll end up with the same problem, where when we put the joint together, it won't look, it won't look tight. So we want to kind of leave that area alone. We still need to sand it, but we just need to sand it very lightly. So there, that's where I'll use hand sanding, and I'll just, I'll just sand just enough to remove the scratches from the previous grit. You'll want to avoid sanding the tops of these mortises as well, because that, sanding that, again, will create a gap in between the mortise and the tenon that's going to stick through it, and it'll end up looking like it's a sloppy fit. Here I've got 220 grit sticky back sandpaper, I just fold it over on itself and that makes a nice little simple sanding pad. After you do a few dry fits, you'll notice that these edges here are kind of sharp. You'll want to ease those just a little bit. Take the 220 paper really lightly. Again, just ease them so that they're not sharp anymore and they don't bite you when you touch them. The whole chair should be pleasant to touch.